Hi, my name is Monica, and if you're new here, I somehow got sucked into the world of vintage Airstream trailers. Back in 2020, I bought a gutted 31-foot Airstream Sovereign for about $7,000. That's Mighty Mo. I recently decided Mighty Mo was too big, so I swapped it out for a 19-foot Airstream land yacht named Mini Mo. I just received my quote to have Mini Mo professionally renovated. $101,600. And today, we're gonna unpack that. Now you're all caught up. But first, today's video is sponsored by Cometeer Coffee. So you guys saw in the last episode how the refrigerator is not gonna work for the Airstream, not only because of the beverage side, but also because it doesn't have a freezer. And I'm gonna want a freezer in that Airstream for frozen pizzas and my frozen Cometeer coffee. Cometeer is a new coffee company that uses advanced technology to create the perfect cup of coffee. It's made with the freshest coffee from the best in regional roasters in specialty coffee, and then flash frozen at peak flavor in a recyclable capsule in order to deliver the very first coffee you melt to make. For iced coffee, you first fill your glass with ice and water and then you pour a melted capsule on top of the mix and stir it. For hot coffee, you drop the frozen puck in a mug and then add about eight ounces of hot water until it melts, then you stir it. And for a limited time, you can get $20 off each of your first two orders for a total of $40 off when you use my code MONICA. So if you've been wanting to try Cometeer, now is the time. Thank you so much to Cometeer for sponsoring this portion of the video and keeping my Airstream dream alive. I can't wait to continue enjoying it in my Airstream one day. So let's go through this scope of work and find out why this is $101,000. It's not really broken down in line items, but in phases, but you can kind of get an idea for where things are costing the most money. Demolition and disposal of trailer interior is $4,600. Remove and replace the frame rail curbside outriggers and cross members, $9,200. Basically what that means is the frame is extremely rusty and they have to fix the frame. Onto exterior renovation, refurbish a frame and bumper, install manual A-frame jack, remove and replace curbside skin, restore the one glass window that's missing, refurbish and replace badges and trim, all new exterior lights and fixtures, seal exterior, and refinish the exterior skin to a matte finish, or you could do like a shiny finish like I worked on on the old Airstream. All of that totals $20,600. That's just exterior repair work. Moving on to the interior, install fresh black and gray water tanks, install power center and battery, install DC and AC wiring, rough in plumbing, install propane lines, sensor wire, seal interior skin of trailer, install insulation, interior skins, finish floor, AC, ceiling fan, and appliances. That's a lot of stuff. And that is $28,800. Now that's the cost of basically getting the interior roughly put together. And it's a lot of money at $28,000, but you have to take into account a lot of that is actually the materials itself and not the labor. The battery, the flooring, the aluminum skins is four or five thousand dollars. Air conditioning. So when you think of it in those terms, like it actually makes a lot of sense. And the last phase is interior finishes. This is what I was the most curious about how much this would cost. Fabricating and installing the seating and dining area casework, kitchen cabinets and countertops, installing the bed with storage underneath, the bathroom area with a shower and countertop, and installing all of the fixtures and appliances. That comes out to $38,400. Rounding us out to $101,600. I know in the last episode, I just kind of was like, $100,000. That's more than I thought, but I'm not that surprised. We have a deal. I mean, I expected that. A deal? We do. Let's get busy. But I want you guys to know, I understand the gravity of this situation, and I haven't committed yet. $100,000 is so much money, and yeah, you're right, I saw the comments. Just because I spent $100,000 on the Airstream doesn't mean I'm gonna be able to sell it for $100,000. So I've been thinking long and hard about all of this, and <laughs> I feel terrible about this thing, I really do. The amount of money I've wasted in the vintage Airstream industry, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty frustrated about my whole Airstream journey right now, and in fact, I'm starting to feel so much regret, and like, it truly has been 100% the worst purchase of my entire life and it is something that I would not recommend anyone do unless you just want to waste a bunch of money. My first Airstream I bought for $6,000 and you know when me and my dad were fixing it up we bought tools for it, we bought new axles, we bought all the stuff that amounted to pouring in probably $15,000 and now I'm trying to sell it for $15,000 so I'm already taking a loss on that Airstream. And then I bought Minimo for $12,000. 
$12,000. And you know, I was told, you know, it's a, it's a good Airstream, it's worth its value, and it was gonna have way less work, probably nothing to do on the frame. So I just kind of went with it and like trusted that it was gonna be a good purchase and just save me money in the long run. And then in the last episode, when I was told that from here forward, Work. It was gonna need a lot of work on the frame. It amounts to like $10,000. That just makes me feel so terrible. Paying for gutting it was close to like $5,000. So that gets me up to $17,000 on that Airstream. And then it's gonna need $10,000 worth of work on the frame, getting me up to $27,000. Like, I truly feel like I way overpaid for that Airstream. I didn't do my due diligence. I was kind of misguided, and I'm starting to have pause on if I should really sink six figures into this thing. Because I feel like every time I try and make strides in this Airstream process, I'm just brought back to square one, and it feels like it's never going to be finished. I think a lesson that I learned in this is, unless someone did already restore it, if it's an old, untouched, vintage Airstream, Stream, it is not worth more than $10,000, probably less. You're buying the aluminum shell and the name brand. That's all you're buying and nothing else. You should not expect anything about it to work. Hopefully you still have the original windows though. Other than that, you're buying an aluminum shell for whatever price it's listed at. I, I paid $12,000 for an aluminum shell and a bunch of rust. So what's next? Today is Mission Move Minimo. So we're gonna move Minimo from the shop that it's been at. I got my mom here. My mom is like not in these videos often. Why are we bringing something back to the house we're trying to sell? Quick update, they actually took the inner skins off of Minimo, which I am happy about. I didn't know that that was gonna come in the price of the gutting, which makes sense that it would, but Last time I saw it, it wasn't like that. So that's good. A little bit more. Okay, uh, a little tiny bit more. Oh, stop. That's perfect. There it goes. Okay. Stop. Oh my God, stop. Oh my God, he's gonna hit the tag. Stop. <laughs> he won't stop. So here we are again, back at my parents' house with a new Airstream. I've made the decision that I am not going to go through with the renovation company that quoted me on $101,000. And it's partly for the money. You know, I think I could maybe get things down a little bit. And it's partly because I just don't think they were the best fit for my renovation. I have nothing bad to say about them. It just didn't feel like the best fit. Building an Airstream, it's like building a house. Like you need the builder to have the same vision as you. And one of the things, you know, that once I took it to the renovation company, I lost was the feeling that I'm working on on the Airstream. It made me sad that I no longer have a part in it, right? Like I still wanted it to be something I could learn from and get my hands dirty a little bit with and I knew I wouldn't be able to do that with very many companies. But I'm really excited to announce I did find a company that I'm going to work with. Um, they're located in Texas, so Minimo is gonna be shipped to Texas and I'm gonna be going there periodically to check in and actually get to learn and work on the Airstream as well. It's gonna be great. There's gonna be so much fun content involved with that and I'm super excited to show you guys. Yes.